it, it will be there. Similar figure will be having it. So what are the required conditions for corrosion? Chapter number three, metals and non-metals. Yes, very good, Manikandan. So that's what it is. So similar figure exactly we have. Now what changes in the air in the test tube occurs as the iron nail rust? Iron nail is rusting. So what will happen? No exchange of outside air to inside air. Air, what is containing air? That moist air, everything will be there. So that will be decreases. So what will happen? Amount of oxygen decreases, amount of nitrogen decreases, amount of carbon dioxide decreases for corrosion, iron nail. What is required? Anybody? <laughs> what is required, guys, for iron nail? Oxygen. Yes, please. Oxygen is required. So oxygen is reacted with that and it is gone. So that what will happen in a carbon in the test tube, which is required, which is decreases in the air? Anybody? Amount is decreases, correct guys. After corrosion, there is no oxygen because no, it is tightly packed. So what is happening? The amount of oxygen decreases. Learn, this is very good question. People cannot be. So they are saying that now if it is sealed for few days, the air contains all oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen and all. Now carbon dioxide, oxygen, nitrogen is not required for corrosion. Only oxygen is required. So once it will be corroded, so oxygen is in the form of product now. So there is no oxygen is available in the air. That's all. So the amount of oxygen is decreases. That is what you have to remember. Clear everybody? Please respond. All of you. Next. Which type of compound contains only carbon and hydrogen? Very, very important. Carbon and compounds. Which contains only two carbon and hydrogen? Anybody? Only two substances, two elements are present in a compound. Call it as hydrocarbon. Hydrocarbon. Are hydrocarbon definition itself is that correct? Only contains carbon and hydrogen. That's all. Which statement about ethene is not correct? What is ethene, guys? Saturated or unsaturated? Ethene. Ethene. It is a saturated or unsaturated. All of you. Shoo. Saturated or unsaturated also don't know ethene. It is unsaturated. unsaturated. Means what? Carbon, carbon, double bond or single bond? Carbon, carbon, in. In it is. In. Carbon, carbon, double bond or single bond? Double bond. Double bond. Double bond. Now, they are asking. Try to at least one question you answer. Now, it is used to make an addition polymer. It decolorizes aqueous bromine. It is a saturated hydrocarbon. It is formed by crackling larger alkanes. Now they are asking which is not correct. So remaining all options are correct only. Addition polymer. This question also recently came and some people are asked and explain you. Additional polymerization. Alkenes, we can use it. Alkenes. And it will be decolorizes aqueous bromine. Not only alkene, ethene. Another one also, all unsaturated, all unsaturated, they will decolorize the home, everybody. They will decolorize the home, bromine solution. Am I right or wrong? To test to identify saturated or unsaturated, bromine only. It is a saturated hydrocarbon. No, it is found by cracking larger alkanes. Yes, so it is option C. Okay, so please make it. Next. Which row shows apparatus used to measure length, time and volume? Length, time and volume. So we are not having this one. You can leave it. So next is snow shoes. This is also pressure question, ninth class. We can avoid it. A boy runs with the same. Okay, ninth class. Ninth class. Cold water evaporates. Not there for us. Infrared radiation. Okay. Uh, this is also not there. Leave it. Everything okay now? Yeah, from here. Yes, Mithakshri. So recently this question you people asked. Am I right? Mr. Arun Kailas also asked and Mithakshri also asked again last, I think, day before yesterday. Yesterday, day before yesterday. Am I right? All of you? Yes, please. Yes, sir. So for ammeter and voltmeter question, if you want to solve, you need to know what? Least count. So please learn. If you don't know, at least learn now. So you need to know least count. So least count is equals to maximum range, 
maximum range divided by total number of divisions. I think all time saying, am I right? No, correct only. So total number of divisions. So that is what you have to remember. So that will give you the least count. So now you can say the maximum ammeter range is here 0 0.5. It is amperes, I think. Yeah, 0 0.5 amperes. So that is what. Now number of divisions, how much everybody count it? Number of divisions, count it and tell me. All of you. Yes, please. Please make it and tell me. 25. Yeah. 25. 25. So now 25. So I think uh, 1 to 5, 1 to 0 0.1. How many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So totally how many are Yes, please. 25. 25. So now what is maximum range? Maximum range is 0 0.5 divided by 25 or 24? 25. So which is equals to, what is a one division, one line? Suppose a meter will come from reading from come to here to here, which is indicating 0 0.02. That is what is the least current we can measure with the help of this ammeter. Now, count it everybody. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 divisions are there. So what is the answer? Everyone? Yes, please. Anybody? Zero point zero two into thirteen. Thirteen actually it is zero only. Sorry, it is twelve only will comes. So into twelve if you'll do it, how much it will come exactly? First one is zero already. It is zero, so we know it that. So zero point two four. Listen everybody, zero point zero two. Next plus zero point zero two plus zero point zero two like that will add it one. Next zero point two zero point two plus. 0 0.02 plus 0 0.02. How much it will be? That is what is that? What is the answer? Or directly you can multiply. How many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 0 0.02 into 12, which is equals to answer, please. 0 0.2. 0 0.2. 0 0.2 for ampere. Don't know, please learn. Least count is the method of practicing. Maximum range divided by total number of divisions. Total number of divisions. That is what is the least count formula. So please make sure it. I think uh, that question also. First digit, first line it will not be. First line is already indicating zero. So you have to avoid that and you have to count it. So make it fast. Small one line if you count extra also. Now suppose instead of 12, you make it 13. It will become 0 0.26 ampere. If 0 0.26 is there, you will choose 0 0.26. But it is a wrong. So that's why you have to be very careful always. Okay. So please remember that. Next. The diagram represents a circuit that in includes a battery, ammeter, voltmeter and a variable resistor. So this is what variable resistor means. We used to say, what is that name? Rheostat. Rheostat. Right? That is. Now, what happens to the reading on the meters as the resistance of the variable resistor is increasing? R is increasing. R is increasing means what will happen? Everybody. So there is a resistor. So what will happen to the resistor? R is increases. R is increases means what happened? The readings they are asking. Ammeter and voltmeter. Anybody? Ammeter and voltmeter. Voltmeter reading, what will happen? Supplied voltage remains same. So what will happen? Voltage never cancels. Voltage remains constant. But resistance increases. What will happen to current? Everybody decreases. Right? Decreases. That's what. So, what is the correct option? option? Option B. Very, very important question. Please learn it. Both are inversely proportional to R and I is inversely proportional to each other. The supplied voltage remains constant. So, supplied voltage remains constant. Voltage cannot be changes. So, voltage reading is still the same. 
only current will change this that's all next which circuit allows each lamp to be switched on and off independently of the other lamp so there is a two lamps b so that one lamp one lamp two lamp one lamp two and uh, lamp one lamp two so observe the four figures and tell me which one will be parallel they are asking c which circuit allows each lamp to be switched on and off independently what does it mean it is a parallel connection or series connection everybody independent switch independent switch is what guys parallel series Are individual switch what ra? parallel series ra? parallel that's what they are asking so what is the correct option anybody which circuit is representing parallel connection in this <laughs> all of you first nobody knows so option b option b <laughs> yes sorry how are you See here, eh? option B. Now this will become main switch or uh, switch for bulb, Hari. That is a main switch or uh, switch for bulb. Have you checked it? See, if you on this switch, current will start coming. If you on this switch, current will pass through this bulb and it will pass through this bulb. So then both are in what connection? Series or parallel? It is in what? Series connection. Do you understand? Please respond. But we have done one more similar sum like this right, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, no. oh, yeah, you it, this is what it is. Now this is the main switch. Have you checked it? This is the main switch. Am I right? Huh? Correct or not? Yes, sir. A main switch means what will happen? If you on this one, first current will start coming. Then the current will pass through this. If you close this one, current will pass through this. But there is no connection for this current. It is directly passing the current. So means both are in what connection? This both the bulbs. Series connection only. Yeah. Clear. Now, second one sees. Let us observe this one. So now again you see here. What will happen? Now this switch, if you close it, it will become closer circuit. There is not a switch for any bulb. Now this switch, if you close it, what will happen? Current will pass. So now you can see it's individual switch. For this one also what? If you close the switch, automatically current will pass to this both. So no, no individual switch for this bulb. And now this bulb, this one you take it. If you close this one, this is for this is the switch for what? Circuit for that. And current will pass through this directly. Now if you close directly current if you close this one again current will come back to it it is not the switch for this one so one if you close this switch and this switch then current will be passing to both if it is open anyone also no current will pass through anybody's because circuit is opening but now you see here if you close this switch now it will become a closer circuit am i right or wrong verify it everybody please respond guys all of you Yes or no? Let it be. This switch is open. If I close this switch, this this bulb will become a closer circuit. Yes or no, guys? Please respond. Nobody answering. Then what I should do it? Okay. Now, even this switch is open. Now this switch is closed. Now only this circuit you see that this circuit is also closer circuit or not? Everybody verify it. Even though this switch is open. Yes, please. Yes, sir. Yeah. So that is what. So individual switch means if you draw a circuit two times, it has to be closed. Suppose if I close this switch, this is a separate circuit. And if I close this switch, this is a separate circuit. Means both the bulbs is having individual switch. But now here you see, you try to draw a circuit here. So what will happen? If I close this switch, this switch is belongs to the main circuit. So now what will happen, everybody? If I draw, if I close this one, you can see here. If I close this one, imagine for example, imagine my current may pass through this one. Okay, circuit one, okay, accepting. But if I close this switch, current is becoming, have you noticed this? This is the whole, whole one become a circuit. Am I right or wrong? Closer circuit. So it cannot be. Are you clear guys? Do you understand? So that's why it is. See, by closing a first switch, I may glow the bulb one alone. 
but by uh, closing this switch current will pass through the both the bulbs so it is not then same thing to the d and c also if i close this switch current will comes to this bulb alone but if i close this switch current will pass through the both the bulbs that's why option c also same way if i close this switch this is only the closed circuit of course this bulb alone will close if i close this switch what will happen current is passing through the both the bulbs so that it is also not understand mitakshri hari is clear or now yes yes sir you are, uh, tell me ask me hari yes sir understood see hari when you draw circuit two times for two bulbs if you are getting individual individual circuit then it is parallel connection if you are getting one time also mismatching then it is not considered as a parallel circuit that's what you should learn from this concept this is the question that's why i says now you draw just you take time one minute nothing wrong in that because confusion should not be happen forget about a circuit remaining b c d any one circuit you take imagine now i only close it this this one switch one now tell me let me take this is a bulb one and this is a bulb two which bulb will glow now i close this switch which bulb will glow bulb 2 sir bulb 2 will glow because this is a closed circuit am i right yes sir yes now without closing this uh, switch current cannot pass to the bulb 1 am i right or wrong mm. now if if i close this this bulb this switch also only then only this bulb 1 can glow why means then only it will be closed circuit is it right or wrong yes sir then current is passing to here and here both current then what it is not a single switch are you clear so then what yes, is sir. it if the both the switches is close they are in series connection clear yes sir yeah so that's what so please solve this question everybody still you have doubt please ask me anybody anyone nobody wants to speak next lamp p is connected to a cell a second lamp is then connected in parallel with the lamp p parallel connection how does the change effect of brightness of lamp p and how does it affects the current in the cell that is what they are asking brightness and as well as current everyone brightness and current they are asking what about the brightness in parallel connection voltage supplied potential difference is remains same so what happened to the brightness what happened to the brightness guys unchanged unchanged because the potential difference is remains constant so the potential difference is unchanged then what about the current in the cell current in the cell parallel connection low resistance it will create low resistance less resistance decreases automatically current will become what increases increases greater so what is the answer option c option c very very most important theoretical question from the numerical parallel connection resistance is decreases so that current increases so please make it okay so lamp p is connected to a cell a second lamp is then connected to a parallel with the lamp p so that is what is will happens next an air conditioner is a television this is related to the circuits domestic electric circuit one of the another important question so i think similar question you will be having in exercise in text question also domestic electric circuit an air conditioner and a television are both connected in the same electrical circuit air conditioner and a television now the current in the air conditioner is 9 ampere and the current in the television is 2 ampere several different fuses are available which fuse should be connected to the x what is the suitable fuse they are asking anybody yeah. yes please what is a suitable fuse they are asking anyone you no need to solve this one you can directly make it 13 ampere 13 ampere how anybody everything less than 9 ampere sir yes pugal so the the current in the air conditioner is 9 ampere means if i choose a 1 ampere fuse 3 ampere fuse and 7 ampere fuse what will happen it will melt before it is reaching its point am i right or wrong yes please we have to choose little bit more 
So now the total current in the circuit is what? Total current in the circuit is what? Air conditioner plus television. Both are connected. So what is the total current in the circuit? 9 ampere. 9 plus 2. 9 plus 2. How many ampere is total current? 11, 11 ampere. Ampere. So we have to choose the fuse a little bit more than that. Not less than that. So what is a little bit more than this here? It is 13 ampere only. If you choose a 7 ampere, 33 ampere and 1 ampere, fuse will never, it will never stand. It will break as soon as you connect, it will break. So that's all you have to remember. So now, today's class, this is the one question you have to remember. Biology question, xylem and phloem question. Okay. And then you have to remember this question. Which question? The circuit question. So please, once again, this you put a circuit. If you are not getting, you can ask me in the offline class. I will explain you. So today there is no solving. Only I will teach offline class. So this is the last time because again board exam, there is no time. And I think Saturday, Sunday you have to read a social. There is no time for us because social also important. So today we will revise all the, all the concepts. So please make sure it. Everything, everybody will come by 10 o'clock sharply. Thank you everyone. We will meet by 10 o'clock.